going on YouTube this is just my opinion and welcome to 2018 I apologize I've been busy I haven't been able to put out that much videos but I have a big 2018 coming I will be more involved in the channel and uh, I have some upcoming reviews that I want to get going with uh, Eminem Post Malone the 1975 Rick Ross amongst others but first as I did last year, I wanted to put up a video of my 30 favorite songs from 2017. And this year was so hard to put together, I have to actually put in quite a bit of honorable mentions before I actually get into the top 30. Also, before I get into the top 30, remember, this is just my opinion. This is just my list. You don't have to agree with it. You don't even have to like it. I don't care. Make your own list. First honorable mention is by The Hood Internet, titled 40 Years of Hip Hop. These, uh, this is a mashup group, and they've made a huge compilation celebrating the 40th anniversary of hip hop. A ton of hip hop that you're going to recognize, everything from Jay-Z, Biggie, Nas, uh, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, all the way down to uh, Chance the Rapper, uh, Slim Thug, uh, UGK. Uh, Juvenile, uh, Souls of Mischief, uh, just covers every era and every subgenre of hip hop that you could possibly think of. Amazing mashup, amazing job by them. Next up, Joyner Lucas, I'm Not Racist. It was a very important song that came out last year, a very compelling video uh, that sparked up a lot of controversy, really brought to the attention, two different sides and conflicts between whites and blacks in today's society and race in general as a whole, uh, common misperceptions about both sides of the spectrum, and the whole point was to really just spark a topic and debate, which I think was really well put together. Uh, another honorable mention, g Easy, uh, No Limit. The original featured the hook by ASAP Rocky, and a verse by Cardi B. Of course, Cardi B blew up this year. And the remix actually featured uh, Belly, uh, ASAP Rocky still on the hook, French Montana, and also featured Juicy J, which was awesome to hear considering the fact that the beat and the um, chorus kind of paid homage to Juicy J, Slob on My Knob. Next on the list, I have... 2 Chains and Travis Scott with 4AM, another dope song to come out this year. 2 Chains kind of had a, a revitalized year as well this year. And the last but not least uh, song that was right on the cusp of making it j would have been number 31 if I had to do uh, a, a list of, of more than 30 tracks was Odessa with Late Night. And now to the countdown. So at number 30, we have... Electric Guest featuring Devin Daka, hopefully I pronounced that name right, with Oh Devil. These guys have been around now for quite a while. They kind of make uh, indie pop, indie alternative type music, indie tronic. The vocalist on this song was absolutely amazing, very soulful. Uh, it has a very light, poppy feel. Devin kind of has more of a, a reggae vibe to him when he comes in on the hook. At number 29, I have Marshmallow with Moving Out. I've really been a fan of what he's been doing the past few years. If you don't know him, of course, he uh, he signed to Skrillex's label, puts out a lot of uh, EDM-inspired trap music, uh, fusing a lot of old-school EDM sounds and styles, um, dating all the way back from like the 90s and early 2000s. But this was my, easily my favorite song by him. Uh, at number 28, I have Narrow with... Innocence Reopened, and I like the title Reopen there as opposed to Remix. This was one of their biggest dubstep songs from years ago, one of my favorite dubstep songs personally from years ago, and they actually made a, a house banger out of this one, an electro house banger out of this one. It's really interesting to hear kind of the revitalization of not only that song, but the way that they recaptured kind of that essence of it, and I really, really loved it. At 27, we had Major Lazer featuring Travis Scott, Quavo, and Camila Cabello with No No Better. All of them together on this track I thought sounded really, really dope. Major Lazer, uh, of course, headed by Diplo. 
This thing right here is just such a, a fun, dancey tune. At number 26, DJ Khaled featuring Rihanna and Bryson Tiller, Wild Thoughts. This song I thought was great. Had the Santana, uh, Maria Maria sample from back in the day. Really thought that they did justice to, to that song and kind of revitalized that song. Features Rihanna and, and Bryson Tiller. Both sound very sexy on it. Not a, really a fan of either of those artists, and I didn't think I didn't know how their chemistry would work together, but it actually works together really well on this song. Next at 25, we have Lana Del Rey with Love. Can easily say I've never really been a huge fan of Lana Del Rey, but there is quite a bit of stuff this year that I had heard her come out with from her newest album that I actually kind of liked, especially this song. I really love the throwback sound and style kind of really reminiscent of like the 50s and 60s and this song right here just sounds absolutely beautiful and amazing at number 24 i have tiesto and seven with boom electro house banger just recently i found out a remix got put out with gucci man on vocals and uh that actually sounds pretty fun too i could see that actually blowing up at number 23 i have jaquise and dej loaf with at the club Definitely like this song, has a nice R&B, like a throwback, nine, late 90s, early 2000s throwback R&B sound to it. Still very clubby and, and, and dancey. At 22, Lil Wayne featuring Gutta Gutta and Hoodie Baby with Loyalty. This is on Lil Wayne's EP, In Tune We Trust, that came out in the summer. Lil Wayne is back, people. First off, Gutta Gutta did his thing. Like he always does. Hoodie Baby, I wasn't really a fan of, especially the way he was auto-tuning his vocals and stuff like that. But Lil Wayne was back. He was flowing like his old days. Even the beat was reminiscent of like old Lil Wayne. He was spitting. He was charismatic. He was he was energetic. He wasn't using auto-tune at all. He was just flowing smoothly the way that he used to. At uh, number 21... Plain Jane by ASAP Ferg. Slob on my knob influence from 3-6, but ASAP Ferg kind of made it his own, and I think this song is just a straight-up banger. It's funny, charismatic, charismatic and witty on it, and I think he really captured the Juicy J essence of this song. At 20, the XX with On Hold. Haven't been able to do a full review of their newest album. I did a review of their debut album, an album in which has definitely grown on me since I've even done the review. I think their kind of minimal, uh, dreamy type style has really grown on me. But with this song right here, this is the lead single to come off it. Definitely more lively and dancey and more electronic-y sounding. At uh, number 19, I have the Rinzen remix of Giorgio Morador's uh, Good For Me. I think that this is just a really, really good uh, progressive house. Fused with a little bit of Electro House as well. Uh, I thought it was just a very, very overall, really dope um, house version of this song. The vocalist on this is amazing. At number 17, The Gorillas with Busted in Blue. Easily the best song off of this album. I did a review of this album uh, last year as well. Bottom line, don't return back to it that much, but I really, really love this song, and I stay coming back to this song in particular. Just love the overall atmosphere. At 17, I have Mansionaires with Astronaut. Uh, this song right here is kind of a blend of indie tronic along with kind of dream pop. The vocalist on this is fucking outstanding. It really lures you in and it's almost kind of like uh, ambient trancey. The chorus breaks in and we get kind of like these Daft Punk talk box type uh, vocals that come in. Very spacey, ambient type of sounding indie pop tronic track love it at number 16 travis scott and playboy cardi with green and purple I was debating putting either uh, butterfly effect or green and purple on this list uh both big songs for travis scott last year i was definitely way hotter on the butterfly effect when it first came out but i find myself returning to this more so therefore i put that uh, this song on this list Number 15, I have Calvin Harris featuring Pharrell 
Ariana Grande and Young Thug with Heat Stroke. This song right here was definitely a summer anthem of mine. If you saw the review that I put out of Calvin Harris's latest Funk Wave Bounces Volume 1, uh, you would know that I was hot on this song, as well as another song coming up on this list. Overall, an amazing aesthetic, a major change of, of pace and musical direction for Calvin Harris that I think he pulled off really, really well. At number 14, Jay-Z, The Story of OJ. Not only an amazing song that came out this year, easily the best music video that I've seen in a while with the, with the racist cartoons and everything kind of perpetuating it, really bringing to light um, not only racism, but how to put yourself in a better position to accumulate wealth and pass it down kind of gives some insight on some of the mistakes that he made financially that he wishes he could go back and change and what he's doing now to correct some of those financial changes at number 13 big sean and jeremiah with uh the light as i said in my review of i decided never really been a big sean fan but this last album kind of has made me rethink that and this song is absolutely amazing the production the just the simple electric keyboards on it sound beautiful uh, big Sean kind of coming off as is more human than he normally does Jeremiah did an amazing job on the hook overall fantastic number 12 another Calvin Harris song uh, this one holiday featuring Snoop Dogg takeoff and John Legend and uh, one of my summer anthems again uh, just a really really fun funky uh, kind of like uh, acid on the beach sounding type of track at number 11 Drake with Do Not Disturb. The overall playlist has grown on me and there were a couple of really, really dope songs on it that I come back to a lot, this being one of them. Uh, love the kind of vocal sample in the background that he normally does with a lot of his music on this particular track and he's just kind of rapping, summing up his past year, year and a half or so in music. Uh, really, really great track. The Drake that I love hearing. Uh, as far as rapping wise. And we've reached the top 10 people. At number 10, Sam Hunt with Body Like a Back Road. Not a huge country fan, I could admit that. But this song has just a lot of really, really likable qualities about a country song. Uh, it doesn't really even feel like a country song. Sounds more poppy. One of the very few country songs that you'll ever see me probably put on a end your list or even review period. At number nine, I have Joey Badass with J. Cole, legendary, off of his album from last year, All American Badass. Overall, I love the the production on this song. It's very, very New York, but very, very old school New York, but has a very, very smooth, jazzy type feel on it. Number eight, I got Day Wave with Something Here. This came out like way early in 2017, but still very, very dope. Almost kind of like a like a surf rock, a little bit of a, um, a punk sound to it even as well. Very reverby, a great aesthetic and feel. Uh, I wish that there was more uh, alternative and rock music that kind of sounded like this that comes out now as opposed to a lot of these fusion rock groups, especially a lot of the bigger groups, just stick to what you're good at. Um, and these guys definitely stick to what they're good at. At number seven, I got Kygo and Ellie Goulding with First Time, the Griffin remix. I love Ellie Goulding, her vocal performance uh, on this, as well as the original track. She does an outstanding job, very, very catchy, but uh, this song in particular is just a straight up banger. I would definitely suggest you check this version out if you have not heard this version, but you've heard the original Kygo version. At number six, got Carnage, g Easy featuring 24 Hours with Down For Me. Uh, of course, Carnage came out with a, a couple collaborative projects this year, one with Young Thug and one with g Easy. Um, this was off of the g Easy one, obviously. I've never been a huge, huge fan of g Easy, but I really liked a lot of stuff that he was doing this year. I think when him and Carnage also link up together, too, they have great chemistry together. At number five, I have Drake with Passion Fruit. I just perk up and get so happy every single time I hear this song. This is definitely the Drake, as far as R&B and pop goes, that I think that we've all been missing 
at least I've been missing. This is easily his best sounding um, tropical type track, whereas with some of the other ones, they just felt very thin, but this has a great atmosphere to it, a great bounce, very R&B and poppy sounding, and I think that this kind of brings out the best in Drake as far as singing and songwriting goes, and just his ear for melody. At number four, Post Malone and 21 Savage, 21, 20, 20, with the Rockstar. And of course, this blew up, uh, broke streaming records in like its first day, debuted at number two on Billboard. For good reason, I think that overall this is Post Malone's best song that he's ever come out with. I think his overall ear for production and melody, he's not the best rapper, he's not the best singer, but the way that he combines it all together I think is just amazing and you see, you see it very, very well on this song. Catchy chorus, very intoxicating, wavy production. And 21 Savage actually impressed me on this song as well. I think he had a little bit more life to him than he normally does. He sounds very sleepy most of the time. Number three, Skrillex and Pooh Bear with Would You Ever. Uh, very, kind of a quiet year for Skrillex overall. Very disappointed in that, but this was a Electro House banger. Pooh Bear's vocal performance on this is amazing. He's actually been a songwriter for a lot of uh, big pop acts and kind of came in for this track to actually lay down vocals. Did an amazing job, and of course, Skrillex can do no wrong uh, most of the time as far as production goes. And number two, I got Gold Link featuring Gucci Mane, Shy Gleezy, and Brent Fiaz with the crew remix. Really loved Gold Link's flow on this one. The chorus on this one was just so catchy. Uh, Brent did an outstanding job on the chorus. I love the uh, production on it. It has kind of like a like a bouncy R&B sound, but still has its hip hop, like kind of like trap influence as well. And we get Gucci Mane. I've been on the Gucci Mane wave now for the past year or so, but the number one song from this past year, 2017, in my opinion, Chris Brown featuring Yo Gotti, Boogie with the Hoodie, Kodak Black, Pills and Automobiles. Song straight up slaps. I think all the the rappers on this song did an outstanding job. I'm not really a fan of any of them. Never cared for Yo Gotti, but I liked his appearance on here. Kind of gives like the OG type feel of the track. We had a boogie with the hoodie on here. I thought his vocal performance and his flows uh, were just really dope. Kind of blended with Chris Brown very well. And Kodak Black, I think, put out the best verse, possibly not only on this song, but of his career. Chris Brown did a very, very good job, very catchy chorus. Uh, his verses, he sounded a lot like Travis Scott with his vocal effects, but it somehow all worked. And that was my list for 2017. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other videos on the channel, like, subscribe, let me know what you want me to review. I will definitely have more reviews soon. If you have not checked out my podcast with frequent collaborator John, uh, check out our podcast, The Plug Podcast. We're also going to be back on our shit this year as well. We talk everything from sports, music, entertainment, uh, movies, uh, just everything. We talk it all. Definitely looking forward for a big year for 2018 in music. Again, remember, this is all just my opinion, and thank you for watching, YouTube.